Okay, how are we? We're awesome, right? Awesome. The other day, I got a big box full of goodies from Amazon. One of the things that was in there, which I wanted to show you, but I didn't want to do everything at once, so I didn't want to make a video that was like three hours long, was this. This right here. This is a Polaroid Snap and Wrap Flexi Tripod. So I wanted to open this with you guys for the first time. And basically this, I'm gonna reach over here. This, for me, is hopefully, possibly, gonna be a replacement, or maybe not a replacement, but an add-on. This is a Joby Gorilla Pod, right? You hear that? One of the things I find just with any of these little Gorilla Pod things is that over time, I don't know, they, they loosen, they get weak, they, they just don't, I don't know, they just don't hold up. And at you know, 70 to $100 a shot, if I can find something that's gonna last the same amount of time for half the price, I'm all over that. This could be anywhere from like $70, $80. This I got from Amazon for 29 bucks. So let's open it up. Actually, let's open it up after you watch this. Okay, so Polaroid. We all know Polaroid. Who knew that Polaroid was making all this kind of stuff? I sure didn't. What does it even say? Features medium-sized pro-grade tripod. Approximately 12 inches tall. Cool. Three independent flexible legs. Super grippy. Mm-hmm. Bald rubberized feet and freely rotating lockable ball head. All right. That's, well, it all sounds good. It's kind of all the stuff that this had, except this didn't come with a ball head. And it still cost me way too much money. So let's... Let's go look in here. Let's go look. Oh, there's, yeah, of course there's tape. Why wouldn't there, why wouldn't there be tape? There's always tape. There's always, there's always tape somewhere. I don't need this, right? I don't. So right off the bat, this just feels better than this. <laughs> and I didn't think I would say that. Again, $29 versus like 80. This got some weight to it, to be honest with you. And the legs, the legs feel nice. So they're not like a ball head. They're they're like they're like these joints. I don't know if you guys can see that. So like this joint here pivots this way, and then this joint here can pivot that way, and then this joint here can pivot and pivot. Whereas on one of these, they kind of just go wherever you feel like it. So in a way, I guess this would maybe possibly wrap better. I don't know. But like I said, for the price, I find these wear out too fast. Now the bonus of this, I would think, and this is this is what I like. I'm gonna be the first one to admit this. Takes you a little bit longer to get it in the position that you want. So I get it in that position, here it is. But the bonus is because the joints can't just flow wherever, the joints kind of help lock the legs in place a bit because like I can't take all these, I can take some of them and bend, but these two like don't bend upwards. And these ones don't bend this way. So you don't get the legs just kind of shooting out on you. So this one goes all the way up there, that one's there. That one's, that's it. You got a little tiny little ball head, which is good. So that if your legs aren't perfect, you got a little ball head you can kind of move around. You got a little, little handle dually. I'm really hungry. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry still. This, you have to, so you have to take this and just kind of do a spin. But that's, that's the same as, you know, the griddle pot. So spin. Spin. Okay, so first off, see this little guy? This has got a little twist here, and if you twist this, this little ball, this little piece up top can rotate, okay? And if you spin it back, it locks it. So, if it's twisted, when you try to spin, it spins a thread. So, I was like, why is it not getting tight? So, now, my hope is that I actually know what I'm doing for you guys. Ah, yeah, see? Because what happens is, you're gonna get it kind of in that spot that you want, and then you could loosen this a little bit just to spin it the way you want it, and then just retighten this. Let's get this in a position, pointing down, lock that up, get my legs out there. Yeah, that's all right, right? And I got my legs tilted in nice so that they don't necessarily want to go backwards. I think that's one of the tricks. That's okay. Will it hold a really heavy camera? I don't, I don't know. I don't think it will hold any less than this will because this has the legs slip out. That's pretty good. 29 bucks? Yeah, I'm good with that. Because it comes with a little ball head, I guess I'll just straighten that back up again. Right, get that a little straight. And 
get these all kind of in the angle that I want them. And it has that, like I said, that ball head on there. If you're using this for vlogging and stuff, you know, hey, it still works great, like a charm, right? Get it out there. Polaroid, that's good, 29 bucks. What more can you ask for? I think that's a keeper. I'm gonna try this uh, on our next trip and the next few times that I play with this camera. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you with that. That's that's kind of what I got. I wanted to show you this before I went out and really started playing with it too much. Like, look at that. That ball head's holding that all right. Look at the legs, not even bending. See, that's good because they don't, yeah, that's, I don't mind that. That's good. All right guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Like, comment, subscribe, share. You know the drill. I don't know what else to tell you. We'll see you again next time, possibly tomorrow. I doubt it's tomorrow. It won't be tomorrow. Couple days. We'll see you then.